All right, it is March 21st. It is 6.23 in the morning. We're running probably about 10 minutes later than we'd like to. Maybe even 15 or 20, but that's all right. Me and Jake are headed back into where we hunted yesterday evening, and we're 99.99% .99 sure we heard a turkey gobble back in there. Warp's behind us. <laughs> yeah, Warp's behind us. <laughs> he might have to leave early to edit, but he's gonna come for the first, first little push here. Hopefully that's all it takes. Nice. There was tracks on top of our vehicle tracks from yesterday, so we yeah. know there's a turkey close by, even if it's not the one we heard. Yeah, yesterday we went in there and tried to strike a bird, and we had driven down this road a ways and it drove out. We found fresh tracks before we tried striking, and then we came back four hours later. There's fresh gobbler tracks right on top of our tire tracks, so they are in there sniffing around. They are in there rutting. They were sent trailing us. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're running a scrape line on us. Yesterday evening we were thinking we were hearing one in there, but it could have been that. What are you thinking? What do you mean? Like, what are you thinking about? I can see your wheels are turning. Ah, oh, they usually are. <laughs> I, if I was you, I'd go to the spot where you're probably going to kill it. <laughs> That's a genius idea. I can't believe I didn't do that. I ain't never been in here before. Hopefully we end up at that spot eventually. So it's right about eight o'clock now. The two or three turkeys that are out here in front of us have gone quiet. We heard another hunter yelping. We don't know if it was uh, across the drainage and on the opposite ridge or if he'd come down the kind of the same road we did. But this turkey has been gobbling good all morning. It's still gobbling really good, but he's across the creek and they're bad thick. And he's right on the edge of private. But all these turkeys seem like to be working through here at some point during the day because there's gobbler tracks all up and down these roads. And so we're gonna ease down here a little bit. Let's see if we can't get a, an idea if, if he's moving this way. You know, we try to head him off down here at the bottom of the ridge, or if he goes quiet, we might back out and loop around and go try to come in from a different access and get on the other side of him and see if we, that helps. What else would you like me to say? I think we go kill him now. I think you said everything you need to say. Okay. First one inside of 40 wins. He's not like hike on a hike. He's just pecking, walking, strutting, gobbling.
Sparta. Sounds like he's moving back up this way. Yeah. This is what that turkey's doing right now. permission yeah go ahead this turkey's still gobbling a lot right here just across the creek i mean he's probably only 150 yards but he hadn't come across he's just going back and forth so we're going to back up to try to see if we can cross the creek it's been pretty thick going into these creek bottoms we're just going to ease up there and see if we can get on that side with him there he is same, same spot see, same spot let me see if we can get on that side with him and then bring him back up the creek do it swiftly yep. I gotta go back to the car and edit, so I'm just gonna have to hear the show instead of watch it. Good luck. <laughs> you too. Finally. There he goes. That means we'll for sure kill. Somebody's just gotta leave. Yep, that's all things happen. And uh, think about it, here we go. Scoop and score? Is that what you think we do? Swoop and scoop and score? Yeah. I think it's our only real option. It, I mean, if nothing else, I will learn what it looks like up there. Oh, boy. I think we just back up to about like right there. All right, break them. Turkey on three. One, two, three. Turkey. All right, so it's getting close to lunch, about 12. And uh, we hadn't heard that turkey gobble in two and a half hours, probably, but coming up here to this property boundary and it's a transition out of that creek bottom to a little bit of hardwoods and like some grown volunteer pines into this private piece. We found what we think is this road here that this turkey is using to go from where he's roosting to swinging down into the creek bottom like he did this morning. And then there's just a ton of like big old live oaks hanging over this road. Just looks like really good roost opportunities. And we heard multiple birds along this road in here. So we think coming back in here this evening would probably be a pretty good move. I think we're gonna ease out of here and go get some food and probably work on some video stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe a quick nap, a short one. that'll do for us mm -hmm. necessities i might have just heard one gobble might have been my stomach i better chance it's your stomach i'd say at this point it was making some atrocious noises i thought they might hear it did y'all have a good trip at bucky's yep but i'm out anytime i see a bucky's i swoop mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good pickup i ain't missing no bucky's every time me and zach drove right by it the other day bucky's pays really well too they're higher it's a career. Man, it is. You make $27 an hour working there. Yeah, I saw that. Do you think you make more than $27 an hour? Nope. <laughs> no, 
I don't. What about you? Mm -mm. Every morning they've gobbled a little later and a little later every morning. It's getting better. It's getting for the peak. Yeah, we're about to be peaking. Well, enjoy your time. Yeah. I'll be right here. Good luck. Good luck to you boys out there. We're hoping you enjoy your time in the field. Just leave this loser in the dust. We're headed back. I love you, dude. Brother, I love you. We just got done eating lunch. Lunch. We ate some trail mix and some beef jerky. Drank some coffee. We're headed back out here to where we were hunting this morning. So we're going to go in and try to strike one. And if we don't, we're going to sit tight and lay with them for a couple hours. And then we're just planning to do that till the evening time. And if nothing happens, then we'll go try to put one to bed. All that the queen bee. She has to just walks over all the other soldiers. It's crazy. Yeah, put them to work, girl. Ah. He's right down in there where he was at, but I think it's way worth just, he might come right up here, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need to go over there. Not yet. I don't know if he's answering this. Game no. He said he's literally right where he was this morning, isn't he? Yeah, very, very close. Probably gotta go to him, I think, but cut distance real fast, call again, see if we can get him to gobble if he's coming, then we'll set up. If not, we'll keep going to him. Yeah, he's exactly where he was. with him and just hang out there. There's no way he's not going to come check it out at some point. Yeah. I don't think he's just going to stay in the same place all day. If he does, we'll kill him in the morning, I guess. <laughs> so. He might have to get all the way down there just to come up. Mm -hmm. At least now we can get across the creek if we need to. We'll just follow him up, maybe. You know, he'll go back to that spot he just uh, spent all day there. Just see what he does. I could have just moved further down the creek where we can't hear him. Mm -hmm. Regardless if he's coming or not, I'd love to know where he is. So. Mm -hmm. I don't think sitting right here, if we don't have him actively coming to us, is very advantageous. No. Because we're close. Mm -hmm. It's like too close and don't have much cover. So I'm probably going to give him another 10 if we don't gobble. I think what he might be doing, he might have done the same thing this morning. We just probably didn't really get the going away gobble mm -hmm. like we got right now. You know, he gobbled in the same spot this morning over and over and over, answering every time. And then at a certain point, he just stopped. And he might have him a, a pretty good path down there closer to the creek where he can go back and forth. There he is. Right down there. Further down. Should we dive down in there and go at him? I say we jump across and go get where he was gobbling from and wait on him. Mm -hmm. And I call from there because he knows that's a good spot. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Here's the wet feet. It warms to be a <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Warm. Just back into the jungle, baby. I'm gonna get a jungle bird. Like that. I think we said we'd get like 20, 30 yards in there. Get in this man cave.
Up. My legs asleep. But... Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Dude, I hope that DJI is still running because whatever I just did to my leg might have been pretty messed up. Oh. It's pretty uh, asleep. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Holy cow, he wore us out. Dude, he was. He was so close right i could hear him walking when I, he broke i knew he broke he was breaking stuff uh-huh i was afraid he was gonna come up tight to the left i thought he was gonna pop out right here yeah oh I boy to, i had to shoot through some stuff but he was only 20 yards yeah oh boy are you on him at all oh yeah oh bring him over here to me maybe <laughs> Woo! Granddaddy's gone. <laughs> he did the trick. He even brought a little brush on the way, just like Granddaddy probably would, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Granddaddy would have shot through that for sure. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. That's that I like working for him like that. Oh, that was tough. He was slick. He was slick, and we just had to get to a spot where he wanted to be. Yeah. And we had to get we, he had to get out of that spot. Mm. Like this is where he spent most of the time. And he finally moved far enough up, and we we dashed in here pretty quick. And you won. You can't wonder why he was in here. Yeah. I mean, it's the prettiest spot in the whole the whole place. <laughs> when he story. gobbled right there when we were, <laughs> dude, were you rolling on anything. <laughs> we. I about came out of my skin yeah. right there, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> dude, he was so close when we struck him right here. Yeah, baby. That was, yeah, he was 60, 70 yards probably. Uh -huh. But he took a long <laughs> oh, yeah. time to work his way. Oh, yeah. I was afraid he was going to try to slip us right there. Again. But then, so right before I said I hear footsteps, maybe I'd already heard them. That's why I had the thought. I was like we're down low it's a pretty good bit of elevation gain right there i was like i hope he ain't gonna swing up here and get on top of us and look down here and not see mm -hmm. it. i looked and just seen this bench right here it's just so pretty it was so much brighter and everything else mm -hmm. like it's got to be where he's going and as soon as i thought that i heard <laughs> and he was marching pretty good and then it was right after that he was i was looking way closer for him and he i'm glad he came out where he did because it would have got tough if he come to this thing and he up. knew it as soon as he stepped out mm -hmm. and didn't see her right here he mm -hmm. was like he was already starting to turn mm -hmm. yeah you killed him right when you had to because otherwise it could have been one of those yeah ways, like and that i would i wouldn't have been able to shoot all i got this big pine tree right here. look at look at that. look at the, how you saw that off just ripped through there man wow <laughs> <laughs> oh, granddaddy would have liked that one. Oh, he thought. I'd like to think. Warb is sitting here sending me play-by-play -play request. He's like, I said, headed into the hole at 413. It's uh -huh. 443. Good. If you can call his spot, if you can call from his spot, he might just come to it. <laughs> like that emoji. <laughs> I bet he hangs right in there in that little 300-yard square gobbling off and on he was guessing perfectly good idea warp yeah dude this is great I wish good we'd stuff have thought of that. this is good stuff warp he should fire back up again in an hour or two if he didn't answer you <laughs> we're just gonna say hmm <laughs> and i'm gonna send a smiley face an old school one not even an emoji <laughs> i gotta send rachel a picture she's gonna flip Oh boy, I thought I don't I don't think I did anything bad to my leg, but I got up and it felt like it hyperextended. But it, I think it was just so asleep that it so didn't stop asleep, Yeah. I hope this thing is still going because it'll be funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude, I gotta find that hole. I oh, I think I know where it is, dude. 
Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take off? Call? I mean, I mean, as soon as it sounds, it hadn't gone through yet. <laughs> I've learned one thing. Granddaddy's gun is not comfortable to sit there and hold like that. It does not fit me at all. Heavy and long. Yeah, heavy. The stock is so long, I was like way up in it. <laughs> Pretty cool to kill on this thing. Oh, yeah. It might be the only one I ever kill with it, but it's cool to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta get that picture of that to Jared and Parker from Apex and Kyle. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. She's trying to sound. You bloodied him up good, dude. Yeah. For a, like that's a lot of blood for a turkey. For a little bitty joker, he had a hell of a gobble on yeah. him. I mean, <laughs> those last couple were like, Ooh. blow your hat off, blow it right off. A stubborn joker. He worked us pretty good. Oh, he gave us a run. The last two days. <laughs> this spot, he, he felt very safe in. He's just kind of in a little hole right here too, where. You can't hear him. It'd be tough to hear him from that road, after, especially like this time of day. From the morning, I think yeah. you could, but this time of day, he's kind of down in a little hole here where you'd have to get back in here ways to hear him. Yeah, I mean, we had to come all the way to the end of that road to hear him. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest stand of oaks we found yeah. right here. This is nice. It's real pretty. Where should we sit? I think right up there somewhere. Maybe get him on that horizontal log or something. <laughs> you got something to hang him with? All right, so me and Jake just got done taking pictures and calling my dad and talking to Warb and everything. And I uh, just wanted to mention why I was toting around my granddaddy's 54-year-old shotgun. That he passed away in December. And uh, the last turkey he ever killed was opening day of 2020 with this shotgun. So when he passed, I told my dad, I said, first turkey I killed this year is going to be with his old Browning Belgium humpback, which was made in 1970. So... The last three days we've been looking this thing around trying to get on one and today we finally did it so now i'm going to take the other four shells i got for it and uh give them to my dad and maybe he'll try to shoot one with it opening day in texas um well yeah so it was pretty cool i don't know how many more i'll ever kill with it but i just wanted to get one for sure and it was a, a good one no doubt <laughs> it I mean, was very cool it was a no doubter <laughs> yeah. so i think we're going to ease out of here and uh Go celebrate, so let's bounce. <laughs> She's a little bit worn and blue steel cold, worn brown grain with a heart of gold. I just love to hold her. She's against my shoulder. She rides next to me on a million mile drive. She's my grandpa's girl, a Browning Auto 5 Shoots straight and true And grandpa's with me too She stays with me in the sun and rain Through miles of woods and deep terrain Always ready to be on my knee Looking down that beat She's my grandpa's Browning Auto 5 Lord, I'm feeling so alive There's a bird on the beat Oh, and a trigger squeeze I hear that drum, I see the head Bobbing through the trees, white, blue, and red And the moment arrived Grandpa's brown oh. <laughs> 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 Let's go, Jake! Yeah, baby. Oh, goodness. I'll call my dad. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, yeah, I think I got a little dust in my eye on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was something. Kind of got me shaking a little bit. <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. I know granddaddy's smiling down. He, I guarantee you. Yeah, I said to Jake last night, I said, maybe Granddaddy will shine a little light on us tomorrow. We decided he was going to give us a turkey when the time was right. That's right. <laughs> You're 100% right. The time was right today. Yeah.